becoming clear that you just cannot turn your back on people who come to your door. An elderly Deer Park man knows that all too well. But a couple small-time crooks took much more than just his wallet. Local 12's Angela Ingram is in Deer Park with why the man is so devastated by this theft. Angela. Well, Cammie, this man tried to help out a couple of strangers, and there wasn't just cash in his wallet. There was also a wedding picture of his wife. Fran McEwen looks in on her 91-year-old father often, but last Saturday, with the heavy snow, he was home alone, and thieves came knocking, asking to shovel his driveway. And he said that um, he had no money. He was homeless and gave him a song and dance like he had done in the past. One of the men had been at the home on Clifford before asking to shovel. He claimed he and his buddy would clear the drive for $20. They asked for a drink of water to distract Fran's dad. They went outside to do the shoveling and dad didn't hear anything. So he looked outside and they were gone and he looked on his dining room table and the wallet was missing. Fran's daughter posted on Facebook alerting people about the scam. She came to find out that this has happened in this general area to at least five other people. And people responded saying con artists have been running the same scam on others in Dillonvale and Amberley Village. The family is hoping to get the word out and neighbors watch out for predators preying on the elderly. We tell them to look out for their elderly neighbors for cold or for lack of food, but we don't tell them to look out f for con artists. The worst part for Fran's father isn't the money that's lost. It's a wedding photo from 1946, like this one. Fran's father cherished a picture of him and his wife, who died seven years ago. He carried a picture of my mother from their wedding day for 68 years in that wallet, and now it's gone, and that he'll, he can't get that back. And Fran is helping her father replace his IDs and his other personal information that was inside of the wallet. She does have some concerns about possible identity theft because her father had his social security card in his wallet and she said.